Hi, this is a review of the UG2150. I've been sent it by Gearbest and all the links are in the description. I haven't bought anything from Gearbest, they've just sent this to me. It took a long time to get to me, but I think their prices are quite competitive compared to others, so it's probably worth the wait. But if you have had any experience with them, then put a comment in the description for others to look at. I'm reviewing this from a 3D artist perspective and a digital artist perspective and I'll be comparing it to the Wacom and the Hueyons. Now a display tablet is slightly different to your drawing tablet because you can actually see what you're drawing on top of which does make it a lot easier for drawing and it will increase your workflow. So as I said Gearbest sent me this so thanks very much to them and at the moment it costs £370 which is similar to the Hueyon which is a similar size and is obviously way cheaper than Wacom Cintiqs. It's a 21.5 inch screen, hence 2150, 1920 by 1080. It's got 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, so all the normal stuff that you'd expect. And it's actually a nice vivid monitor. What's slightly better than Hueyon, you get two pens and two chargers. The little dock that you put the pen on, you can actually put upright. I just slightly prefer that. And it comes with an HDMI connector and a VGA and USB and charger and a stand, which is pretty much the same as the Hueyon. So in terms of installation, it was easy to install. Uh, what annoyed me though is that you can't change the driver folder, so it has to install on your C drive, and that I find frustrating. I don't like clogging up my C drive, but it's not really a big deal. It wasn't very really big files. I did have to download the latest test driver for it to work on my machine, so the most up-to-date driver that's kind of in beta. Uh, since I've installed that, it's worked very well. It's worked well in all programs, Critter, Photoshop and Blender, and I'll show you some work from that in a second. The build quality seems quite good. One thing lots of people complain about is the leads plug in at the bottom. So they kind of bend over when you are changing the height of the stand. The screen is very shiny, so there's a fair bit of glare. If you had a light right above you, it would be very difficult to work with. The pen squeaks really slightly, which is not a big problem. And the shiny screen, some people find awkward to draw on. I don't really find it much of a problem. I'm used to the Wacom, which is a nicer, comfier screen. It's got a bit of roughness to it, but it's not a great deal of difference. The big problem you're gonna find is the parallax. So that's like the screen thickness in a way. Uh, so your cursor is a distance away from your pen when you touch the screen. Now, because you're looking at it straight on, that's not really a problem, especially in the middle of the screen. It's when you go to menus at the top corners that you might notice a bit of distance and therefore click slightly the wrong button when you're not used to it. But I don't see that as a big problem, especially as the difference in price is over £2,000 compared to the Wacom. It's very, very similar to the Hueyon. They seem so similar, you sort of wonder whether they're kind of built in the same factory or something. <laughs> Some people have talked about pen wobble as they're drawing straight lines slowly. You can see the pen just shake slightly and it goes away from its target. But both Critter and Photoshop now have smoothing tools which will deal with this problem. I'm in Critter here and it seems absolutely fine. And the pen sensitivity seems really nice. You can see me here drawing faint lines and then heavy lines and they come out really nice. This is all in Critter. The Wacom is supposed to boast something like 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. I don't notice a massive difference, I can't really tell. Uh, maybe I'm not an amazing artist that would notice these things. Uh, but I have been using the Wacom, well, five hours a day on average uh, for the last month. And now I've just gone across to try this UG and I'm not noticing a lot of difference with the pen sensitivity. Don't get me wrong, the Wacom is a nicer experience, but for the price, if I was starting out and I wasn't as serious as I am now about my art and getting a few sort of freelance pieces in, I would definitely go for the UG. The main difference I've noticed between this and the Hueyon is that the drivers worked for me, whereas the Hueyon I couldn't get them to work so I had to send it back. But that may just be my system and it may be Windows updates. Windows seem to do a lot of things with touch screens, so I think that's where the difficulties lie. For digital art, you can see me doing a sketch here. Very basic stuff, pretty rubbish to be honest, but you can see I'm quite comfortably drawing without a problem and selecting things, menus and so forth in Critter. And I go across to Photoshop and do a bit more just to make sure that it's working in Photoshop as well. And it's nice and comfy, no real differences. In my 3D program, I use Blender and I've noticed that I get that dreadful circle when I hold the pen down for too long. 
and it's always in one brush when I'm sculpting. I get that slightly with my Wacom as well, so I think it's a Windows issue rather than uh, anything to do with the UG, but it was a pain. And I tried all sorts of things to untick menus and look up different things, but nothing was really working. And I'm pretty sure, again, that's a Windows issue and not a UG issue, but it is something to bear in mind if you do a lot of sculpting in Blender. You may have to find some way around that or find out how to solve that problem. Also in the 3D programs, I noticed one other thing that when I was shooting around the menus quickly, I had to tap fairly hard to select things. Whereas when I'm using my Wacom, I can quickly tap and there's no problem. I think that's just something to get used to rather than something to stop me using it. So there's my review for the UG2150. Very impressed. Would I buy it? Yes, I would. I think it's exceptionally good. Uh, great value. There's a 19 inch one as well uh, for £280, uh, which is fantastic. I really like the big screen. That's one thing it really has over the Wacom. If you are a serious artist and you're okay about spending a fair bit of money because you're getting freelance work or whatever, or you're just really that into it, then obviously go for a Wacom. Uh, they are that little bit better, which does make a difference to your workflow. Okay, hope that helps. Again, write in the comments if you've got any experience of these things. Thanks again to Gearbest, really appreciate it, and thanks for watching.